Hey guys, I'm Simon. Today we're going to talk about how we can use a monostable multivibrator or so-called one-shot to debounce a switch. So why do switch bounce occur? When the switch contacts mechanically move, they're a little bit springy and they have imperfections. And so you get some uh, multiple contact opening and closure happening in a very, very short span of time, just sometimes just in microseconds. And uh, if you're applying the switch to a digital circuit, that can cause several inputs. Let's suppose you only want one pulse to go in. The circuit might see multiple spikes coming in. So we don't like that. So how can we get rid of it? We can use a one-shot. Basically what a one-shot does is as soon as it receives a trigger signal on the input, it puts out a nice clean pulse on the output. And we can actually control the width of that pulse using an external resistor and capacitor. Okay guys, let's get to it. Let's take a look at the spec, the circuit, and actually build it and test it out. Here we go. Okay, let's take a quick look at the spec from Fairchild for the 74121 one-shot, uh, which is a monostable multivibrator. If we move on down to the uh, circuit diagram or, or the connection diagram and the truth table here, we can see it's a 14-pin chip. Uh, it has this logic here so that you can select whether you want to trigger on a high or a low transition and if you want to have other conditions. It also has a Q and a Q naught output, so you can have the output going from low to high or high to low. Up here is the timing resistor and timing capacitor connection. There's also an internal resistor you can use. We will use an external resistor and capacitor. And we're going to do this function here where we tie A1 high and we tie B high. So A1 and B will be high. And A2 will have a low transition. So we're going to connect a switch to this going to ground. So when we put a low on here, we get a high here, we have a high coming in on B, and we trigger the monostable. Let's take a look at our test circuit. Here's the 74121. Here's the push button switch. You see this pin is tied to high through this resistor. When we press this button, this pin will be pulled to ground. That will trigger the monostable. Over here we have the timing capacitor and the timing resistor. And we are using 100 microfarads and 100K. According to the equation on the spec, T is 0.7 times the capacitor times the resistor. So here we're using 100 microfarads and 100K times 0.7 gives us a time of 7 seconds. So we're making this really long so that we can see it. When we trigger the monostable, Q will go high and current will flow through this resistor into this LED and it will light up for 7 seconds, as you will see shortly. Okay, here you can see we have the circuit, the test circuit built. We have 5 volts coming in on the power lines. Uh, here I have a large 100 microfarad capacitor and a 100K resistor, so our timing constant, as we discussed earlier, is going to be 7 seconds. And you can see if I press this switch, the LED comes on and stays on, and it doesn't matter how many times I press it while that cycle is running, it won't re-trigger until the LED goes out and I can start a new cycle and again if I press it, you can imagine that being noise spikes on your switch bounce, it won't trigger until the cycle's over. So using this you can get rid of switch bounce. You can of course adjust the capacitor and the resistor value to a much smaller value. Or you can use this to, um, if you want to prevent someone being able to pr press a switch again within a certain time, say you don't want the circuit to react for a second or two again, whatever it may be, you can set this capacitor and resistor up to give you that time interval if you like. Here you can see the 74121. This is a really ancient chip. I bought this. This is the first IC that I ever bought. Uh, as a kid, I think I was about 14 or something that, like that, and I bought it from a Radio Shack in Florida, I believe it was. 
So there you go, a piece of history. I know this thing's, uh, I've had this for more than 40 years, so I'll tell you how old I'm getting. And uh, yeah, there you go. So there's a monostable circuit demonstration in action. <laughs>